Hi, everybody. I'm Zariah. I'm an editor at Box ATL. I'm 17, homeschooled, and we're going to be doing a mental health video. And we are doing what is one, one idea to bolster teen mental health in Georgia with Box ATL. First off, we'd like to introduce Box ATL to you. And Box ATL is a 28 year old nonprofit organization with 13 teens and 10 adults. We are a teen led and adult support organization in effort to uplift teen voices and creativity. Our motto is uncensored but not unedited meaning that no topic is off limits. We start, We began publishing digitally in 2015, and we publish a spectrum of content such as political articles, poetry, video, comics, podcasts, and so much more. We have host tons of podcasts and workshops and opportunities to, for teens to be in a leadership position. Vox means voice. Vox's mission is that we are a teen leading youth voice movement where teens from diverse backgrounds create stronger and more equitable community through leadership and uncensored self-expression. And our vision is a culture where teens are creating, leading, and thriving. So for our big idea, our aim is to create spaces for teens to have open and honest conversations with each other. And we want teens to be able to have spaces in which they can feel safe and comfortable when talking about mental health related issues, solutions, or experiences. So why should we emphasize teens talking to teens, especially on an important subject like mental health? First off, it's more relatable for a teen to communicate their feelings to their fellow peers than to an adult who might not always understand what they're going through. Second, teens will feel less alone when they realize that their peers are dealing with some of the same challenges. They can work through it together. Third, teens can create long lasting connections with their peers when talking together about mental health. This will facilitate peer to peer support, which is very powerful in the teen's life. Finally, remember that teens are the experts in their own lives. Box ATL hosts weekly mental health team meetings to check in, relax, and plan for upcoming mental health content. Usually this time is spent brainstorming original mental health pieces, for your feels content, and ways to engage with both our internal and external communities. Vox also prides ourselves in our mental health published content. This content comes in a variety of forms, including videos, podcasts, and written pieces. These are some of the examples of what published mental health content can look like. I feel like for me, the mental health content is a great way to relieve stress and get to know my fellow boxers and teens in the area. In researching for my article, with the help of the mental health team, you can see my article here in the middle, I learned how many of us are facing the same mental health related issues. Go check these pieces out. Vox ATL also has many forms of mental health support. We implement a social emotional learning framework and have one-on-one -on -one emotional support when members need it. We also hold Vox Bean meetings and weekly Mindful Monday sessions to make sure that we frequently host low stress safe spaces. Lastly, our connections to community mental health resources and organizations make our programming and support that much more personalized and effective. So a project that we started at Vox this year is a video series called Show and Tell. Um, it's in partnership with the Free Your Feels campaign, and it's held on the Vox ATL Instagram Live every other Friday. Through this series, my fellow Voxer Dinah and I have been talking to Atlanta teens about an activity which helps them free their feels, which essentially means to relax and enhance their mental health. We've had someone who enjoys baking to free their feels, someone who plays the guitar, and even someone who runs their own crafting business. We also talk to the teens about why they believe talking about mental health is important and how other teens can get involved with their future activity. Just another way to create open spaces for teens to talk and share experiences. Um, next off, we have How I Free My Feels. Um, How I Free My Feels videos occur nearly every Friday at, for the Free Your Feels campaign in partnership with DBHD. It shows a collective of teens and how they free their feels. Um, we look for multiple perspectives and multiple individuals, um, typically on a biweekly basis, on how to cope, manage stress, um, and take care of your mental well-being from a teen perspective. We promote them on Instagram and with friends and family. That way, everyone is learning more ways from teens to free their feels. And we walk away with something new. Also at Vox ATL, we do have peer-to-peer -peer PSAs. The mental health content team here at Vox creates PSAs that are teen-led, given to peers. These PSAs provide resources and ways to take care of your mental health, such as getting grounded, breathing exercises, and an affirmation challenge. 
We use these PSAs to provide free, credible, and enjoyable mental health content, as well as connecting with our viewers with resources and organizations to nurture and protect youth, such as the Not Okay app and DBHD's website and app. We are partnered with professionals at DBHD with our teens at Vox ATL. Since they're a part of the Free Your Fails campaign, we promote them on Instagram and YouTube and people have the opportunity to follow along with the campaign. We have PSAs for adults and teens to learn more in effort to play our part in the journey of destigmatizing mental health. Our Vox ATL teen survey makes sure to address the feelings of Voxers in a safe and anonymous way. Because of the pandemic, teens are more stressed than ever. So it is vital to us that we can see where and how our mental health provisions can improve. We will use the data from our teen survey this year to plan for next year's programming. Stay connected with Vox. Follow us on Instagram at VoxRoxATL. Check out all of the content we publish, including all the mental health related content, on our website, VoxATL.org. Find us on YouTube for any video content at VoxATL. Lastly, listen to us on SoundCloud at VoxATL.